Look towards the characteristics of the given. Peter shows us a really great example. How faithfulness and fidelity leads forth into godly love. What is godly love in comparison to brotherly love? Well, you can look at filios, agape, eros that we end up seeing, but when we actually look towards the way that it's given from patriarchs, furthermore than that, from David, Solomon, they have a new way of looking at love, or that it is brotherly love, but they bring it into the marriage relationship. That's the way that we end up seeing it when we look towards Christ. Christ gives you this eternal servitude to the Lord, but because of that, Christ is indebted to you. When we serve the Lord, the Lord works for us. He opens doors that otherwise would be closed. And because of that, you have such a spiritual blessing. It is connected with the spirit of the living God. Jesus uses it. He says, That ability and that life that God gives us, it connects us one and the same. We are coming together as a nation, as a people. And because of that prosperity, it is not simply to have that filios. It is not simply agape. It's not simply eros. It's all of it. You get to have all, actually everything. It is mayod mayod. The blessings that he gives us, where we end up having the word for bread. You hear, of course, poly in the Greek. But to connect with that, why love is that differential. It is the polynomial. It is the value. It is the essence and the goal, the spiritual perfection. Everything coming together because of love. When you love the Lord, then you have everything. All we have to do is keep our eye on the goal, that Jesus is that salvation. And when I feel that every day, you are in the elect, 144,000 chosen of all time, called to represent, to give the gospel of Christ, to have that light. When you call into the Lord, something happens in the spirit. It's no longer that you're under the table. You're on top of it. You have that light, and you shineth forth into all nations. That blessing is the blessing of our Creator, the blessing of the Lord God, and the blessing that I want to share with you today and every day. My prayer for you is to take the word of God, take that blessing, and share it with all the world. Look towards a new future, hope, peace, and love, and know that when you have the word of God, you have everything. It's the key into creation, the key to hope, the key to love, the key to knowing God. When you build forth that personal relationship with the Creator, you see greatness, you see love, the duality of nature, and also the very forgiveness and pardon for sin and iniquity to lead us away from darkness and to take us into light, to show us that love. God giveth all things to those who love Him. So love God with all of your heart, with all of your mind, all of your soul, and know that Jesus is there with you. You are one and the same, connected within the Creator. When you build that personal relationship with the Lord, you're going to open up a new opportunity. God is going to build you into something amazing. And it's going to open the eyes and the ears of others all around the world. Take that love and build it. Create a new future with Christ. My message is simple. It's really so simple. Jesus is Lord. I pray that you receive that. That you affirm that every day. And then say with me now, Jesus is Lord. Believe it. Receive it. God bless. God bless America. And I'll see you.